Now for these questions, we start with multiples of 100, so numbers that end in two zeros, and we're dividing by multiples of 10, so numbers that end in one zero. First, we have 600 divided by 20. Now what we can do when we have division questions with end zeros is cancel the end zeros. So 600 divided by 20 will give us the same answer as 60 divided by 2. That's 30 because 6 divided by 2 is 3 and then if we have an end zero in the dividend that we haven't been able to cancel, we'll have an end zero in the quotient. So our answer is 30. Now we have 3,500 divided by 50. We have one end zero in the number that we're dividing by, so we can cancel one end zero. So now we have 350 divided by five. That's 70 because 35 divided by five is seven. And then because we have an end zero in the dividend that we've not been able to cancel, we have an end zero in the quotient. So our answer is 70. Now let's try 2,700 divided by 30. We only have one end zero in the divisor, so we can only cancel one end zero. That means that we have 270 divided by three. That gives us an answer of 90, because 27 divided by three is nine, and if we have one end zero in the dividend, we need an end zero in the answer, so that's 90. So 600 divided by 20 gives us the same answer as 60 divided by two. Instead of working out 3,500 divided by 50, we know that that will give us the same answer as 350 divided by five. And then again, if we have one end zero in the divisor, we can cancel an end zero. So just work out for this question, 270 divided by three. And this makes sense if we remember that one way to divide is to count up in steps of the divisor until we reach the dividend. But here, it would take us a long time to count up in steps of 20 until we reached 600. So instead, let's count in steps of 10 times 20, so in steps of 200. 10 times 20 is 200. If we add another 10 lots of 20, that would take us to 400, and then another 10 20s would take us to 600. So because we've counted on 10 lots of 20 three times, we've counted 30 steps of 20 altogether. Now we have 3,500 divided by 50. Instead of counting in steps of 50, we could count in steps of 10 times 50, so in steps of 500. We have 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, 2,500, 3,000, and then 3,500. So we counted 10 lots of 50 seven times, so that's why our answer is 70. And now here, on a number line, instead of counting in steps of 30, we can count in steps of 300, because that's 10 lots of 30. If we add another 10 lots of 30, that takes us to 600. Then we have 900, 1,200, 1,500, 1,800, 2,100, 2,400, and then 2,700. So because we counted in steps of 10 times 30, nine times, our answer is 90.